America. England. German. Berlin. Ernst Ludwig. Perfect Bradshaw. London. And you're waiting for the German customs also? Yeah. You've taken this trip before? Many, many times. You are a tourist? No. Oh, well, not exactly. I'm a writer. And I give English lunch. Can I offer you a cigarette? A little bit. A uh, cigarette? Yeah. No, thank you. My hair. Don't you glance at the bottom. You're in a passport. Sorry, I beg your pardon? Your, your passport. Uh, please, please.
welcome to Germany. Have a light shot. Your, your bags. Sie waren geschäftlich in Paris? Nein, ich war noch Urlaub bei uns. Waffen Sie Ihre Tasche? Haben Sie nur diese eine Tasche? Ja, das ist auch. So. What's in the bag? Bobos von Paris. Some stockings, perfume. What more do you think? You understand. I suppose I've done a little smuggling myself. You're most understanding. I thank you very much. And I would like to see to it that Berlin will open its arms to you. We begin tonight, New Year's Eve, the Kit Kat Club. The hottest spot in our Berlin. They have telephones on every table. God's got you, you've got them. Instant connections. Well, thanks, but I've still got to find a room. Oh, you have no room. This is no problem. I know the finest residence in our bed. Just have Fräulein Schneider that Ernst Ludwig has recommended me. <laughs> well, I'm afraid I can't afford the finest residence in Berlin. I'm uh, looking for something inexpensive. Well, this is inexpensive. Very inexpensive. You see, she has this kind of woman, that kind of woman. Absolute satisfaction. <coughs> well, I don't care if it's awful, as long as it's cheap. Well, this is awful. You will love it. <laughs> <laughs> I will take it there myself. You see, you have a new friend, Ernst Ludwig. You have a fine place to live, and you have, I think, your first English pupil. Yeah. So welcome to Berlin, my friend. Welcome, welcome to Berlin. <laughs>
famous English novelist. I am from Lancost, across the hall. Please feel free at any time. Shut the
Let's talk about Sally Wong. And what part of America are you from? New York? San Francisco? Los Angeles? Hello. You must never ask me any questions. If I want to tell you anything, I will. So why did you come to Berlin to write your novel? Well, I'd already tried London, Rome, Paris. Are you just looking for a place to write? No, there's something to write about. Where are you staying? Fräulein Schneider. And you? A hotel? No, it's more of a flat, actually. Well, you live alone? You think Olga may have mind if I came up, or just for a few minutes? I'm afraid so. You see, Max is terribly jealous. <laughs> Max? Your husband? Oh, no. He's just a man I'm living with this week. <laughs> I say, am I shocking you? Well, I say, are you trying to shock me? Trying to? You know, you're quite right. Good luck with your writing. Thanks, Anne, but uh, 
You know, it is difficult getting used to this idea of a poor foreigner. Let's play a secret. If you are interested, I know what. Let's just play to supplement your income. You are. Oh, I'm thinking it's the case of 50 dollars. Not the million, only one of the days at a time. But they will pay you well. Extremely well. Okay. Well, Chantal is a young lady, if you see. A young lady in a fur coat. A young lady. Fraulein Bowles. Bowles? <laughs> well, ask her to come in. <laughs> you and Fraulein Bowles to go for the acquaintances from, from London. Where we met a Kit Kat club last night. Last night? You had some snappy other way to Hmm. You know, it's amazing, but this tastes like peppermint. 
it's your toothbrush glass. <laughs> I should have rinsed it. <laughs> You have two alternatives. You can either say, 
everybody in Berlin has a perfectly marvelous roommate. Some people have two people. Something 
from my shop. Another little something. With my compliment. Ooh, so happy. But what can it be? Pears. That's best day was pears. And such pears? Apples, possibly?
Mr. Nolan, it's a letter to my mother. Thank you for the check. Oh, I'm really right. Yes, everyone I'm very thrilled the novel's going so well. The only day I was expecting to see it in the bookstore. Well, I may not be a great novelist, but I'm a very good liar and I write one hell of a letter. It's all my fault. If I weren't always dragging you off to a party after dinner. But I like most parties. The truth is, I like this whole damn city. It's so tacky and terrible. And everyone's having such a great time. You know, if this was a movie, a volcano would have erupted, or there'd be a tidal wave or something. Maybe you should write for films, and I'll star in them. Oh, wouldn't that be heaven? Heaven. Just as soon as I finish my movie. There must be something to write about. Or someone. Sally Bowles. Who would ever believe it? Right. <laughs> Strange and extraordinary. Much. And much too distracting. Distracting not. <coughs> what about London, Rome, Paris? There's no Sally Bowles there, no novel either. But it's just drifting. Now you're sleepwalking. Sleepwalking? Who said that? You did last night. I was drunk last night. Anyway, I said it was possible. If I am, who cares? Why should I open my eyes? Why should I? Oh, how do you feel? I don't know. I was going to ask you how you 
respiro. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs>
the bathtub in the evening. And I'll go back to the club. Oh, no. Oh, Sam. I do not wish to explode. But I have urgent business. Well, can I get you a drink or something? Only if you can join me. What's on your mind? Fair. You remember when I mentioned the possibility of the occasional quick to fair? I think if you're interested in the next few days. Well, what would I have to do? It's so very simple. You go to an address that you give me, you pick up a briefcase, and you bring it back to Berlin, and then I pay you 75 marks. 75 marks? <laughs> it's a gift from heaven! And I promise to give you some for a very good cause. Well, whatever it is, don't tell me. I don't want to know. As you wish. <laughs> but you will go. Of course you will go. Just See how it is, and we're not even married. Melly! But this is just a congratulations. Congratulations, Sam. Thank you, Eddie. That is the wedding going to be. Well, we haven't decided. It's all just happened today. Today? After all, we only found out today. Uh, but, uh, that we're going to be rich. Here, yeah, drink up. I mean, uh, Prost. Prost! Prost.
straight. You want to be sure not to come back again soon at any time and bring your friends. Oh, it's evening for lunch tonight. It's evening, no? I see we are after all sisters after the skin. Brian Frost. Yeah? This fine lady is not your sister. As a matter of fact, she has just honored me by consenting to give me her hand in marriage. Marriage? Mm, we intend to marry in three weeks. Three weeks? So a little respect for the future Frau Schultz, if you please. Yeah, yeah, Frau Schultz.
I can find no arguments against him. <coughs> if you still desire me, I am yours. <laughs> If I desire
Ron Schneider. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Red Right off the tree. Perfection. Such a fine party last evening. Such bull, such music, such. Can you ever forgive me? For what? The glasses of schnapps. I promise you, for on, on our wedding day, there will be no drinking. You will be proud of me. I am already proud of you. Now, as concerns the wedding. Yes? There are problems. New problems. If it is my drunkenness, well, and I swear to you, I am not an alcoholic. There is a thing far more serious. A new problem. New to me, <coughs> because I have not talked about it. At the party, my eyes were closed. And? And I see that one can no longer dismiss the Nazis. Because suddenly they are my friends and neighbors and how many others? <coughs> if so, is it possible that they will come to power? And you will be married to a Jew. I need my license to rent my rooms. If they take it away. No, they will take nothing away. I promise you. Oh, I, I feel such tenderness for you. It's difficult to express. Are we too old for words like love? Far too old. I am no Juliet. You are no Romeo. We must be sensible. Huh. And live alone. How many meals have you eaten alone? A thousand? Ten thousand? Fifty thousand. Then be sensible. Governments come, governments go. How much longer can we wait? Let me kill you in orange. You could do it. Speak of her 
sure. Sally, what the hell is this? Why don't you go? It is because of the Jew at the party last night.
excuse me, I have come to say goodbye. Let's see. I oh, think I have a little light. Where are you going? I've taken a room on the other side of the northern door box. I, I think it'll be easier for her. You are leaving also, or are you in front of those? Yes, we're going home, Jeremy. England. I have sometimes thought of going there. Well, why don't you join us? I mean, the way things are going. No, no, pass. I promise me. You're right. I know I'm right. Because I understand the Germans. After all, what am I? A German. Oh, Sally, I've come to say goodbye. All good fortune. A show? I brought you a small farewell gift. Seville oranges, delicious. <laughs> goodbye, Hasselt. And, uh, I wish you mazel. Mazel. That is what we all need. Finish your pack. Oh, you've got a lot of stuff, lady. You're not going to be able to find a damn thing. We're going to Paris today, remember? Going? With that face? There was a little fight last night. Did you hear about it? See the other guys. Forget the last 12 hours, okay? Forget what I said to you at the Kit Kat Club and forget you got me because you're staying out all night, okay? You're so cold. Where's your coat? Your fur coat? You know what I love? A spot of gin. Gin? Yeah, we've got some, don't we? I mean, we must. How about a prairie oyster? No, gin. Can't be good for expecting others, huh? I have to get some books on the subject. I suddenly realized I don't know a damn thing about payments. Where's your coat? Your fur coat? Did you leave it at the club? Or was it stolen? I left it at the doctor's office. You left it at the doctor's office. That's why you were out all night. You were sick. How can you find him? It means left and leg break. It's supposed to stop it. It does. I doubt you can stop me. What do you mean? I mean, I'm not perfect. Far from it. 
Enjoyed your stay in our country, Avalacha. You will return again soon, yeah? I will like. Oh, you did not find our country beautiful. Oh, oh I found it beautiful. Pleasant journeys. Berlin Paris Express, I'll fight me off.